Richard Der Spiegel is reporting that the chairman and the CEO of Volkswagen are not getting along perfectly. What's happening? That's right. Ferdinand Piech, the chairman of Volkswagen, and Martin Winterkorn, the CEO, who've long been thought to get on like a house on fire, mm. look to be about to put out a few flames of their own in their <laughs> relationship. And what's happened is that Mr. Piech has distanced himself from Mr. Winterkorn, who is hotly tipped to be the next chairman of VW. Well, has Mr. Winterkorn done a good job or not? He has. This is why it's all the more perplexing. It could just be that there's a succession story being stirred up here by the chairman, or sure. septuagenarian as he is. But I think if you look at Mr. Winterkorn, he's actually mm. done a pretty good job. He's acquitted himself fairly well. He's taken the group more international, into more international mm. markets. He's actually improved operating profit by quite a bit, at mm. double the clip of underlying sales so volume. So margins expanding. Margins is are what expanding. You want to see. Alas, not quite enough, probably. It, VW has ambitions to dislodge Toyota as the top-selling right. brand in the world, and Toyota's margins are somewhat above the level of VW at the moment. But mm. all in all, Mr. Vinterkorn has acquitted himself pretty well. Probably pretty difficult to get Toyota-type margins with a lot of capacity and a lot of your market in Europe, I would Absolutely think. right. And in fact, just to, just to make that even clearer, that if you look at Hyundai, the South Korean manufacturer, mm its operating margin is 9.5. Now, VW is targeting 6% mm -hmm. next, this year, 2015. The issue, though, is that it's got still a fairly large chunk of production and labor costs, most import importantly, in high-cost Germany. Mm. So there's a real issue here about productivity yeah. and about getting those costs down. We Hence can, a five we can billion cost probably cost hope cutting. that the euro helps them a little bit in months to come, though. If the euro stays down at this level, they might... That might be a, a important tailwind. Carry on hoping. <laughs> hoping it hasn't <laughs> hasn't done so far. But right. also they've got other fires to put out. There's the real mm. in Brazil and the ruble in Russia, both of which have given them a bit of angst in recent months. So I suppose the question is: We have a what appears to be a fairly well-run company, uh, some sort of kerfuffle. I think that's a German word at, at the top. Can be. Uh, who decides? In shareholders, shareholders. Yes, oh, I've forgotten those guys, <laughs> those shareholders. Well, isn't it funny that the Porsche SE, Porsche SE, which is the company that owns 50.7% mm. of the voting rights at VW, um, actually sits on, sits on the, the, the controls of this thing. Yes. And then there's the government of Lower Saxony, mm. which is another slug, and I think you'll find the Qataris also hold some more. So. Um, ordinary shareholders such as uh, the man on the street, again, have, they're coming fairly low down the pecking order here. And this is just, if you like, another, another case of European inside job governance, I think. Thanks very much, Richard.